but this is what I'm going to do. So here's my secret, you guys, and it's quite unfortunate because for those of you guys who hate AI, you're gonna hate how I use it to be creative nowadays. Like I am pretty much no longer a creative. AI has taken over me. All right, so. Okay, so I went ahead and gave this thing a purchase right here. For some of you guys, you probably could just go about the route of just creating the actual design. If I was her, and if I originally came out with this, I would just go ahead and trademark it. But anyways, this product right here has brought in over $26,000 in sales. So what we can do is, you know, come up with a variation of it. Or if you're already creating your own product, then you're good to go. And what a lot of people do too is that a lot of you guys get in your own way. It's like, well, if she's already doing it, she's already doing it good. Then, you know, how am I going to get out there? The thing is that like, you're supposed to compete, you know? There's supposed to be competition, right? You're supposed to be willing to go out there and do it better. Most people are so afraid of selling on the marketplace because there's so much competition competition it's supposed to be competitive you know no one said oh, you're just supposed to come out here and go into something that's not competitive and you're supposed to come out here and win just because you, you know you deserve it you got to come out here and compete a little bit come on you guys so let's go ahead and head on over to kittle so i'm using kittle as my design platform i used my product research tool i used ever be in this video now that i am on kittle i actually also need to go to printify real quick and the reason why i need to go to printify okay so we're not creating an embroidery one right now we're just creating a typical sweatshirt so let's go ahead and go with the comfort colors sweatshirt actually i've had success with just the gildan sweatshirt and then the comfort colors sh uh shirt is the most popular thing right now so we'll come on over here to g180 and i'm gonna use choose manually and i'm gonna click start designing here here's a big tip as well try to stick to one or two providers reason being is if you get an order with multiple different providers you're losing a lot of money on shipping because they're not shipping it from one location all right so let's go ahead and use when you use monster digital so etsy is the marketplace you're selling on everbee is the product research tool so you know what people are buying kittle is the design platform i am using printify is the company that's going to print and fulfill the product to your customer for you all right so i'm on here because i want to know the size dimension of the actual product design so which is 4500 by 5100 so i'm going to click on new project and right here i'm going to go ahead and type in 4500 by 5100 and a really really big thing that you guys should be paying attention to is the dpi i think i explained dpi to you guys uh, in the most recent video but that's pretty much your dots per inch is going to be your resolution and how much resolution and clarity an image actually has all right so here we are we have our design look at that that's pretty awesome so sometimes and it's actually kind of hard to explain you can scale some images up even though it's not necessarily a vector or you know a scalable vector graphic and you won't necessarily lose quality just because of how clear the image actually is as you can see you do lose some quality right you can see how it's not perfect but for a directed garment print it's going to be good enough if you know you want to be really perfect about like how you scale up your images there's two things you can do with kittle you can actually vectorize it first then scale it up or you can actually just make it a size that you want it to be and you can pretty much click upscale oh image too large to upscale so you could probably upscale it first then resize it but this is what i'm going to do so here's my secret you guys and it's quite unfortunate because for those of you guys who hate AI, you're going to hate how I use it to be creative nowadays. Like I am pretty much no longer a creative. AI has taken over me. All right. So what I'm going to do is just screenshot this over here real quick. I'm going to paste it on over to chat GPT and I'm going to ask it, you know, what you can do too is you can actually head back on over to Etsy. You can do some more product research, see what styles look nice like this one right here and ask chat GPT what kind of style that is. And then you can tell it to create your new design in that style so you know for example let me just go ahead and show you i'm gonna screenshot this and i'm also at the point where i don't even type to chat gpt anymore i'm usually using a microphone but i'm using it to record how would you describe the halloween style design and what's a kiddo ai prompt i can use to change the happy to see your face to that halloween style art but not make it Halloween themed. All right, so it's giving me 
what kind of style that is, which is like a retro 70s, 80s vibe, limited autumn palette, playful, spooky theme. And then this is how I get my prompt now, you guys. <laughs> so a lot of people think they need to come up with the prompt for the AI design. But my secret has been, I still make AI create my prompts, which is crazy, right? So now I have my prompt. I'm going to copy this and let's see if it says anything about Halloween. It does not, but I feel like it's still going to give it those same colors. We're going to head back to Kittle. We're going to click on the artboard. And then what I'm going to do is click this little arrow, which is the smart board. Man, I've been in love with this thing, man. It's really, really good. So I'm going to click 2, 3 for the ratio. Transparent background. Click generate. And that's pretty much it. Now we're going to have a new creative design that has our input within it. And from there, you pretty much have your own piece of art. And now we can also ask it, like, what are some other style designs that you think would look nice for the happy to see your face so typically i wouldn't just ask it straight up like something like that i'll give it examples but i'm just doing this for the sake of the video watercolor and uh, script though is typically a good one cottage core is definitely a good one we'll just go ahead and go with cottage four so i'm gonna click number five and cool we have that and now i'm gonna copy code head back on over to kittle and while that one's loading i'm still gonna create another smart board boom just like that like that, I'm gonna click two, three, transparent background, generate. All right, so now this one right here is the correct size artboard. So when we create a new one, it needs to be that same size. Just gonna go ahead and do something like that. And then what was it? It was uh, 4,500 by 5,100. Boom, look at that, we have a design over there. Oh, this is a, a shape, sorry, right here. Artboard, 4,500. 5100 this one looks okay i'm not in love with it but i almost feel like it could work i think it's just the colors that i don't love let's go ahead and see what happens here okay so this one right here this is the one right here I, I, i'm loving this i already know this is popular it's watercolor style oh maybe this is how it's gonna come out the one that we have on kittle nope it's not all right so we had two fails which is cool i'm gonna leave it there because i know some of you guys always praise me for leaving the failed actions because sometimes you guys are like man y'all see me do it so perfectly all the time Time and then you guys try and it's not perfect so it's not always going to be perfect right so now let's go ahead and give it another shot let's see what we can do to make sure we get a perfect design out that we could actually use so this style right here that's definitely something that i typically like as well and i know works for the teachers is that kind of that groovy font also like these apples and whatnot so let's go ahead and try this one out real quick all right let's give it a shot one more time boom 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 just gonna go ahead i'm gonna delete this and sometimes while things are loading i don't like to waste time so for example this one right here what we're gonna do is click convert it to an image and then we'll try to remove the background we could probably see if we could save it almost kind of there i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna lie to you it looks a lot better without the background it's just the colors we need to fix now so in order to fix the colors what we can do is just go ahead and vectorize it six colors see how it looks that gradient is gonna be kind of tough to vectorize though cool now it's vectorized now let's see what the original colors were i'm gonna vectorize this so that we have these colors on our artboard to choose from and what i mean by that is as you can see when i click on this these are the document colors but once i vectorize this one it's gonna also pull up on the document colors so now have this one and then let's see for example the dark green now i have all these document colors that came from that original one boom make that red let's make that other green like uh let's see what color we'll also make it red i guess and then this brown color let's see maybe this like blue no that's too bright maybe that yellow and then the gold we're gonna go with the pink and then this other off gold color we're gonna go with that blue all right so i'm not sure but all i know is that looks better than now and it might be worth a shot it might be worth trying to list up and see what happens all right so here we have oh <laughs> we're almost there but it, it messed up the text happy to see your face oh my god it was almost there you guys so what we can do once again we can fix it ourselves what we're going to do is we're going to click on artboard 4500 5100 boom let's go ahead and drag this in here real quick and yep and now we're gonna copy and paste oops paste it here we are and now we're gonna click on the eraser tool beep beep now we're gonna erase what's up with me making all these noises today i have no idea oh man i am messing up so now i'm gonna zoom in just like that exit eraser mode and now you guys see where i'm going with this so now i always like to have the original somewhere so i'm just gonna leave that around now i'm gonna come on over here and hit the eraser tool one more time to make this one fairly large just like that boom 
Boom, 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 boom. All right, hit done. And now, I'm gonna bring this bad boy on over here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. Happy. Ah, oh, we're missing the word too. All right, so how are we gonna do that one? So we need a script font that looks something like that. And we probably need to remove one of these Apple guys. All right, so we need to remove this guy. So we're gonna remove him. We could actually do one or two things. We can make him smaller or we can completely remove him. To make him smaller, we're just going to... I'll show you later. We'll just remove him for now and then hit done and then we'll hit on our little text tool and I'm just going about this way because I want to see what our script options are. I'll just click the letter T. So we have this. I'm going to type in 2. Make it green. I'm going to use my eyedropper tool. And then let's make it a whole lot larger so I can see it real quick. Okay. So now, let's hop on over here. Let's just type in script. See what pops up. We need something kind of similar to the one that says your. Man, there's lots to go through. That one was almost it. This one, it's just not the same amount of thickness. But that's okay because what we're going to do, we're going to click text shadow. Actually, I'm sorry. We're going to remove that. We're going to click on border nope i'm sorry we're gonna remove that we're gonna go back to text shadow we'll just try that one outline width oh that doesn't work okay bear with me all right so on kiddo i don't know how to make the border on the outside someone's gonna have to leave a comment and help me out with this one i don't know how to make the border on the outside okay so i'm going to actually click on the text shadow click on this one here we are um there we are and then now we make that that same color green just like that cool so this one's a little bit you have to be like a real designer to see the difference like this one has the more rounded edges this one's a little bit more rough you can if you really want to continue to go down here let me try, try to type in rounded script nope so i'm sure there's a perfect font in here oh uh, i bet you this one ha how mira let's change it to how mira oh that one looks good <laughs> all right so just like that happy to see your face and if we wanted to bring that green apple back you know all you have to do is just pretty much erase it until you just only have the apple whoa why do we have so many all right so now just erase and you could do that for more than just apple for example if you wanted to just like kind of you know mess with just the flower elements you could just erase everything except for the flowers right and then you can sort it how you want it same with the stars and so forth and that's really how you get new elements to create new designs in particular styles that you really liked because for example now we have all these new elements we have these stars these apples right and we don't even have to do happy to see your face anymore it's really up to you what kind of text you want to put but now we've we've created all these brand new elements just based off of because we originally wanted to go with this and we found this style now all of a sudden we have something that could potentially become original to what you want to create right if you want to go deep and see like deeper success you start with something and then you turn it into completely something else so now i have this design i'm going to click on my layers which you can't even see over here and then remove the background see if we look pretty good yeah we do look pretty good and we're gonna click download we're gonna make sure this is at 300 dpi and artboard 5 let's just go ahead and change it to happy see your face boom just like that and download and now i'm headed back to printify i'm gonna click upload my device and i'm just gonna upload the design that i just downloaded from kittle right on over here look at that man that's crazy isn't it so what printify does is if it's directly integrated with etsy you can already uh, have this published to your etsy website and it's ready for sale so all you have to do is clean up the mock-ups and whatnot and use some nicer mock-ups i would say you can download directly from etsy as well whenever you do product research you can also look and see like what kind of style is on and you know there's plenty of mock-ups on sale on etsy so you still have to clean it up here and what a lot of people don't do but can take you even a step further so i'm going to save this as a draft for now you can click create order and order yourself a sample you can order in the size that you would like so that you can actually keep it for yourself if you really wanted to but then you can take some real photos so that your customers will know wow this is a real product right so you have some actual beyond social proof just some actual like physical goods proof i don't even know the name of that one basically you're just showcasing that the product lives outside of the online space itself by being able to show them that it was actually printed before you know so that is going a step further as you can see etsy is like prioritizing not necessarily prioritizing but they are showcasing more products that have real mock-ups instead of the same ones over and over all the time for example kind of like that sweatshirt one i showed you earlier just to go back to embroidery though what we want to do is create an embroidered patch right so that whenever we create an embroidered design it's gonna look like that patch. So basically same thing as well. So I'm gonna bring this on over to chat GPT. 
I was gonna click the microphone, but I forgot I'm using it for you guys. So whenever you talk to ChatGPT a lot, um, sometimes you don't have to use prompts. Like for example, I just told it what I want it to do. And it just told me like, just upload design and make this look like a realistic embroidery transparent background. And I said, but okay, but if someone random hops on the ChatGPT and gives you the file, what is the ideal prompt for them to use? So they gave me this one right here. And I'll also post it down below for you guys. So you just upload the design and paste the prompt above. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. This design right here is not going to look good embroidered but let's just see what it does let's just see oh i actually uploaded the one that uh we did so let's go ahead and do that one so while that is uploading i'm just gonna go ahead and upload one of these mock-ups that i just happen to already have on here this one's not the perfect mock-up this is like for the the bridal bride theme style mock-up so you have two different sets but anyways just want to see what it would look like so for those of you guys who are creating your own mock-ups same thing you're just using kittle as your design platform and then you create your mock up on here all right and while that's loading i just want to show you guys what's possible stop listening to the naysayers look i have a student right here she's a single mom of five kids she's on seventy thousand dollars this year he's just crossed over twenty six thousand. uh someone who's new two hundred and sixty dollars he just started not too long ago eighteen hundred dollars had no experience no nothing she's been one of my top students for a while hundred thousand dollar a month this is like her fourth month back to back of hundred thousand dollars i also have another student here almost hit all time revenue 200k in 11 months so don't listen to you know there's gonna be plenty of people who tell you that it's not worth it it's not worth your time and you know it's everything's hard at first look at this man i don't even know how to react to this this thing is perfect this thing's incredible look at this that's amazing so that's how you can get your embroidered design right there and i'm just gonna hop on over here so it gave it to me but you can actually ask chat gpt to give it a transparent background because i'm gonna try to do it on kittle but sometimes it's not perfect but we'll just see what happens anyways okay and i bet you a lot of people will buy this embroidered design just like this with the green on top of green man it just looks great i just think it's too large of a, a print for an embroidered product though because it's gonna feel fairly heavy for them so most people will probably be not necessarily 100 satisfied whenever they receive the actual product it's got to be something like you know one of these embroidered products but then it's too much detail going on for something that small it's got to be something kind of smaller text like you know in the upper chest and whatnot so this right here is definitely a product that you should probably order yourself a sample and give it a look if you guys want me to order an embroidered shirt show you guys the sample as well let me know i'll do it and uh, if this video helps you out go ahead and comment like subscribe down below I feel like i gave you guys a lot of value in this one so i'll see you guys on the next one always links down below to everything that i use is down there etsy ever be printify so forth see you guys on the next one